So here's what we're going to be using for a palette today. Pretty simple palette. It's all acrylic. This is gold and open acrylics. I've got titanium white. I've got uh, carbon black, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, and then I've just mixed white, umber, and blue into kind of a, a lighter gray pile and a dark gray pile, and that'll be our palette. I'm going to go working on this 1954 Bel Air. This is a uh, this is a commission, so um, got my reference photo that the uh, client sent, and uh, went ahead and already had brought in the shadow here. I wanted to use an airbrush on that, didn't show it, but just thought I could explain that. So I'm going to start up here at the top on the roof and kind of work my way down.
guys so we've completed the acrylic part of of our little Bel Air car and I wanted to get you know call it 95% of the way done in acrylics but um, I thought I would go ahead and move to my oil palette now because the oils will allow me to have a little bit better blending and transition uh, between my my darks and my lights between my values. So I'm moving to my oil palette and I'm literally just using two colors, white and black. And of course this is going to be my Griffin Alkyd oils from Windsor & Newton. They dry very very quickly which is wonderful but they also give you enough time before they turn tacky to give you a, a bit of a blending time. So. So that's going to be helpful. I'm going to come in here now and overlay in, in oil paint uh, these colors. Now it's important to understand because I've had this question quite a bit. Yes, you can paint in both mediums, but it's it's all dependent on how you do it. You the order in which you do it. You cannot put acrylic on top of oil paint, okay? Because it's water based oil paints are oil based they don't typically bind well that way but they do bind well if you first lay acrylic down let that completely dry and then go over that with your oil paint should be perfectly fine to do that and that's what we're going to do now that will allow me to come in here and get some reflections we'll get some better transitional blending colors and we'll just more or less just get this thing uh, wrapped up so let's go ahead and jump into that now 
Thank mm-hmm. you.